Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of my Minecraft Guild Rock Survival Series. My name is Joe Buffalo and I help gamers who play Minecraft Bedrock overcome challenges in the game by teaching you how to play the game in a simplified way. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to use a super smelter using lava as an unlimited fuel source. We're also going to take a tour of the other farms we completed, and I'll finish this video by revealing to you the idea for my mega build. Let me show you how I built this super smelter. Let's go. Starting with the lava farm, I used 54 cauldrons placed in a 18 by 3 setup with a black concrete wall behind them. Then I dug out a floor beneath the cauldrons too deep. Inside that floor I placed down basalt. After the basalt was done, I removed a few and replaced them with magma blocks. And to finish the floor, on top of all that, I placed light gray glass. Now I added skulk vein in random spots located on the wall. Then I placed dripstone blocks three deep on the fourth level of the wall above each of the cauldrons. Next, I placed smooth deep slate stairs upside down surrounding the dripstone blocks. Then I went to the top of the build and placed deep slate on all of the stairs. Back underneath, I added dripstone to every dripstone block. Then I went back to our original lava setup and grabbed all the lava I could. Next, I placed lava in every block. It's very important that you put lava in every block, otherwise it won't work. And that was it, 54 infinite lava sources so we can have two shulkers of lava when it's produced. Now to build the super smelter. Set up eight hoppers facing to the left with one block dug out behind them. Then add a row of blocks behind that. Go ahead and place furnaces above each of the hoppers. Then go into the trench that you dug out and add a redstone torch to each of the blocks facing the hoppers. Now place a hopper going into the back of each of the furnaces. And here you can see all the hoppers are locked from the redstone torches. Now add a block at the end. Next add a repeater in the first, third, fifth, and seventh block. Then add redstone. Now add a lever and turn it on. That will turn off the torches, turning on the hoppers. Now add a hopper to the top of each furnace. Place down another block here, turn on the lever, and place down a repeater here. Now I'm going to build the exact same setup as I did here by adding a row of blocks to start. Make sure you add a block and a hopper here. Here we have to add a couple of target blocks so that the redstone can be directed into each block in order to turn off the torches when the lever is turned on. To set up the collection area, go to the start of the build and dig out these blocks. Then remove the furnace and hopper, place down a double chest, and make sure the hopper is going into the double chest. Now to replicate this build, add redstone, target box, repeaters, and more redstone. Add a row of blocks, add torches. and repeat. Add a temporary block here with the hopper going into it. Then place hoppers all facing to the left. Place down your furnaces, then add hoppers into the back of your furnaces. Finally, add a row of hoppers on the top of each furnace. Now we have to lock the hoppers on top of the furnaces. Coming off the torch, add redstone and glass, then just connect. Add a repeater here. Next, we have to connect the front hoppers to the back hoppers. Go ahead and add hoppers like this. Place down a block, and then connect the redstone. Now you'll have to add a repeater here. Now add powered rails to the top of all the hoppers.
Connect everything with regular rails, and then add redstone blocks to give power to the powered rails. Add blocks on the end with a lever. This is the setup for the minecarts to continue to unload to the smelter until they are emptied. Two to three blocks from the beginning of the minecart with the chest, add a detector rail with a comparator, add redstone dust, a repeater on two ticks delay, and then more redstone dust into a powered rail. This setup will detect the minecart with chest until it is empty and keep powering the powered rail to unload it to the smelter. Here I placed the lever on the other side of this wall. I ran the redstone underground. This granite block is here to prevent the redstone from connecting to the detector rail circuit. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of the black concrete on the walls. Cover the front up with black stone. Add skulk blocks to the ceiling. Place glass on top of the skulk blocks. Dig out the floor and finish it. And now it's complete. I added a little detail with soul lanterns, warped fences, iron bars, signs and buttons. And then I added a skulk sensor and a shrieker for some sound. Let's run the smelter. First add your smelting items here, which is netherrack. Then add your fuel here, which is lava. I left the first five furnaces without iron bars, so if we have something small to smelt, we can do it right here. Turn on the lever. Press the buttons. And it works. And there you can see the cart continues to unload. Now let's go look at some other farms I built. First up here on our left, I have a very successful pumpkin farm using an LA to collect all the pumpkins. Next up, I have a basalt generator. All you have to do is hit the basalt. This is so relaxing, I can do this all day long. Here I expanded the slime flying machine planet sugarcane after the bamboo, so when anyone is ready to harvest it, all they have to do is update this observer. Now let's head to the sky. Here I built a raid farm from amethyst blocks, leaf blocks, and scaffolding. Let's fly down here where you get bad omen. Oh look, we have one ready to go. Let's do it. Hell, oh, that was fun. Not bad. Five totems and a stack and a half of emeralds. Now let's head over here to the ocean. Here is my creeper farm I built. Oh, 
also a very successful farm for XP and gunpowder. Well, here it is, everyone, my big reveal. My mega build is gonna be a mob museum in the ocean under the water where I collect every mob in the game. I'm gonna clean out a 150 by 150 area of water and then start to build a museum in that space. Go ahead and comment down below on what mob you want me to catch. Well, those are some successful farms. I hope everybody had a good day. I hope everybody learned how to build an auto smelter. I hope everybody learned how to build a lava farm. Hope everyone's excited about my new mega build. Go ahead and hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.